Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for coming to our presentation. I'm Tomo Ishida, and this is my co-presenter, Hitomi Takai. Today's our topic is Pop Goes the Bubble, the Japanese Bubble Economy. Nowadays, the Japanese economy is having a hard time. Do you know what the bubble economy is? The bubble e economy is an overheated economy. From the end of 1980s to 1990s, the Japanese economy was too good to be true. And after the, the, the economy collapsed, people called this unusual time bubble economy. In our presentation, you can learn how the Japanese bubble economy exploded and collapsed. And the time of the bubble economy has somehow a link to today's depressed economy. First, Hitomi will present before the bubble collapsed. Then, I will discuss after the bubble this collapsed. First, please enjoy Hitomi's presentation. Hello, I'm Hitomi. Today, I will talk about the exploding bubble. They are my subtopics, the causes of the bubble economy, changing economy, and people's lives. First, I will talk about the causes of bubble economy. There are many causes of bubble's explosion. Now, I choose two topics, the Plaza Accord and financial deregulation. The Japanese bubble economy is connected to the US economy. Did you know that? In 1970s, the ex-president Jimmy Carter tried to cooperate with other countries to fix the US economy. He proposed one accord. It is the Plaza Accord. After the Plaza Accord, the Japanese government was afraid of high yen recession. And the Bank of Japan tried to the financial deregulation. It is called the easy money policy. But unfortunately, the Bank of Japan failed to do that. Japanese economy experienced excess liquidity, which caused the inflation. Next, I will talk about first cause, the Plaza Accord. It is an agreement between G5 countries, the France, Germany, the United States, the United States, United Kingdom, and Japan to depreciate the US dollar. After the Plaza Accord, the Japanese government must keep the low interest rate. It makes people easy to borrow money from the bank. During the 1980s, Japanese government and the Bank of Japan tried to lower interest rates. Finally, in 1987, it reached 2.5%. It is a really low number. The Bank of Japan checked CPI and GDP chart to decide low interest rate. You can see how Japanese economy changed to inflation and deflation from this chart. CPI stands for Consumer Price Index, and GDP stands for Gross Domestic Product. Let's move on to the next topic, the changing economy. This chart is Nikkei Stock Index. You can see how, the, how big the bubble was from this chart. During the bubble economy, 
people felt they got much money because financial deregulation and easy money policy led to the situation of a lot of money circulating in the market, like this. And they felt happy. People spent their money for stock market and real estate. Now I will talk about housing price. During the 1980s, the price of housing was increased, especially in Tokyo and other big cities. For example, Osaka, Nagoya, or Sapporo, all over the Japan. This is a chart of Tokyo's changing price of housing. This chart also shows us how big the bubble was. Next, I will talk about people's lives during the bubble economy. There is one of the biggest symbols of the bubble economy. It is discourse. <laughs> during the bubble economy, young people danced like this, <laughs> and they spent a lot of money at discourse. Next, I will talk about family styles. The left picture is traditional Japanese family style. On the other hand, this family style, there are only men and women. It's called dink. The, the, this family style appeared because they felt they didn't need children. They were satisfied with their working and their income. The last topic is working style. During the bubble economy, people and the company were so greedy. They worked very much. They worked very hardly. Also, there were problems. Overwork and overtime work became common in Japan. In conclusion, there are many causes of the bubble's expansion. Also, the atmosphere in the city was very different from today. On the other hand, many people excited their lives. Next, my co-presenter Tomo will discuss collapse of the bubble economy. Thank you, Stomi. Now, I would like to focus on the collapse of the bubble economy. As Stomi said, in Japan during a particular time, the Japanese economy grew quickly like a bubble and suddenly collapsed. To explain about collapse of the bubble economy, I divided my topic into three parts. First is falling land prices. Second is other investment. And the last is causes of the collapse. First, let me begin to explain about falling land prices. For example, in Tokyo, the commercial land prices suddenly fell 8% in 1992. Also, people invested in apartment. For example, in Tokyo, in 1990, one apartment cost $770,000. However, in 2000, it became $500,000. Because of the collapse of the bubble economy, many banks and companies went bankrupt. The reason for the bankruptcy was the too many bad loans. In 2000, the bad loans of all banks in Japan was $640 billion. Because of such a lot of bad loans, about 35 financial institutions went bankrupt. There was a theory in people's mind at that time called land myth. The land myth is that the land prices would never fall but just rise. So even if the land prices began to fall, people thought the price would rise again. 
Next, the Dusan home loan companies are considered one of the symbolic problems of the collapse. Dusan companies are real estate institutions supported by the finance ministry. Dusan companies are similar to Pani May in the US. There was there were seven Dusan companies and each Dusan had their own parent banks. The employees were from finance ministry and parent banks. The bubble collapsed and Dusan also had a lot of bad loans. In 1995, the finance ministry opened the information that the bad loan total of all seven Dusan was $107 billion. Then, the government tried to dispose the bad loans with people's taxes. So many people and mass media were angry. Finally, Dusan couldn't manage anymore, and all seven Dusan went bankrupt. People didn't invest money in land only, but also other investments. First, people invested in the Japanese stock market, Nikkei. As land prices rose and fell, the stock market prices also moved like this. At the peak, on December 1989, the highest value was $389. So people thought the price would rise, would get to $400 next year. But on January 1990, the value suddenly dropped to $230. Another investment was golf club memberships. In Japan, people can buy and sell memberships as investments, like stock market. At that time, golf club memberships were considered something of high status. So people invested money in memberships, not for playing golf, but for making money. At the peak, one golf club membership cost $3 million. But now, it costs only less than $1,000. So you can see, in the long run, it was bad investment. <laughs> Next, I'd like to tell you why the bubble economy collapsed. There are some possible reasons, but we can't point to only one reason cause the collapse. One reason people consider is the policy of the finance ministry. In 1990, the finance ministry set up policy to banks. It was total volume control. At that time, many real estate companies borrowed money from banks, and land prices rose too high. So the finance ministry decided to stabilize the land prices and said to banks to slow down in investment in real estate. So real estate companies stopped borrowing money from banks and the demand for real estate disappeared. Then the land prices slumped and the bubble began to collapse. Another reason was people's thinking. At that time, many people got carried away by the boom and people thought the boom was the real ability of Japan. Also, Japanese people prefer acting like other people do. And at that time, people couldn't imagine anything different, but now, looking back, people realize it was a very unusual situation. In conclusion, during bubble, people invested money in real estate, stock market, and golf club memberships. All prices rose too high, and slumped in the 1990s. A policy of the finance ministry is considered one of the causes of the collapse, but Japanese people's mentality is considered as a big reason of the collapse.
As our conclusion, there are many causes of bubble's expansion. For example, the Prada Accord and financial deregulation. Also, there are several causes of the bubble's collapse. Total volume control and also people's mentality led to the collapse of the bubble. Finally, Japanese people didn't notice Japanese economy would be a bad situation while the economy was bad. Usually, I think you have an image Japanese people are as a quiet people. But through this, the Japanese bubble economy, you can see how Japanese people are stamped to one thing, like a crowd of sheep. <laughs> Thank you for listening. <laughs> Does anyone have questions? Yeah. Yes, the mom. The question is, does the Japanese economy and American economy uh, parallel or not related? Do you see how similar they are? Uh, okay. Mm. How similar between the Japanese and American economy? Just my guessing, it is little related between Japanese economy and American economy because the Japanese bubble economy was led by the U.S. economy. Thank you. Yes. Do you think the bubble economy has happened yet? The question is, if I think the bubble economy will repeat again, I think it, it's possible mm, because I read a book. It says bubble economy is repeated in, in five, five, 50 years. So if mm, like our generation don't, don't study about our history, we will repeat, I think. Does anyone have more questions? Yes. If I have a lot of money, uh, would you like to go to Disco? <laughs> <laughs> the question is, if I have a lot of money, do I go to Disco? In my opinion, I will. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> it looks fun. <laughs> Does anyone have any questions? Okay. Thank you for listening. Thank you.